all right you guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a study okay and this is a study study on water baptism and i'm going to prove to you that water baptism being done in the in the modern day churches is a tradition of men if y'all do not know and understand and wake up and see what the lord is doing there is about to be a shift in the earth where we're going to see the axe church take place okay so with that being said we have to identify the traditions of men as long as there's organized church that means that the kingdom of god cannot come okay organized church has been the downfall of many many people okay and wherever the organized church is because they're so stuck in these traditions the holy spirit cannot show up and the holy spirit is the kingdom of god okay for the new age new testament church okay we have to operate in the things of the holy spirit or else what are we doing it for okay so let let's just dig in because i was getting a lot of backlash about um ba my first baptism uh video and how i was saying that water baptism is a false practice okay baptism has nothing to do with going in water because i know many many people who have gone down into the water and they came up with the same terrible bad negative evil spirit that they can't that they went down in okay so listen baptism is a matter of hearing jesus being preached and changing your heart posture towards god that is what the baptism is okay and i'm going to prove it to you in scripture so peter peter gives us the description of what the baptism is okay it says baptism is not the removal of dirt from the flesh but it is the answer of a good conscience towards god through jesus okay that is what the baptism is and that is in first peter 3 21 okay so listen write this stuff down go and study it don't take my word for it but i'm letting you know what's going on in the earth i am literally called to tear down traditions of men and push forward the kingdom of god because that's what it's about if jesus preached kingdom then guess what i'm gonna preach kingdom okay i don't care about y'all traditions i'm gonna tear them down so that people can be set free and, and, and their heart posture can be turned back to Jesus, which is what I say all the time on my channel. So, um, all right, let's start at Acts chapter eight, verse nine. Okay, and I'm going to read this thoroughly so we can get the idea and understanding of what the Lord is doing. So it says, but there was a certain man called Simon, okay, who was previously practicing sorcery in the city he astonished people he claimed that he was someone great okay that's what's going on in the modern day churches these people are deceived by these people who are practicing sorcery okay witchcraft mind control all of those things manipulation that's what simon was before he had a real encounter with jesus so listen it says Verse 10, it says, to whom they all gave heed. That means everyone listened to him. It says, from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is a great power of God. Okay, they, they said, listen, he is anointed. He is a man of God. And this is why it's so important to have discernment in these times because, no, he wasn't. He was practicing sorcery. Okay, and then uh, verse 11, it says, and they heeded him because... He had astonished them with his sorceries for a long time. So he was in ministry for a very long time. Verse 12, it says, but when they believed Philip, as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, both men and women were baptized. Chapter 8, verse 13, it says, then Simon, who was this sorceress man himself, also believed and when he was baptized he continued with philip did y'all hear that it says when when jesus and the kingdom is being preached people get baptized that's a matter of hearing that's why it says he who has an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying that's why he always says something concerning the ears okay it's 
a matter of hearing. Baptism is a matter of hearing. Okay, so, okay. You don't have to believe me. Not right now. Let's let's move along. Let's go to chapter 18. Acts chapter 18. This is a version that's paraphrased. It's Apollos, okay? He was a Jew, eloquent. He was a Bible scholar. He came to Ephesus preaching and teaching the Lord, okay? But there was just one thing he was lacking. He only preached the baptism of John, which is what's happening in our modern day churches. Okay, they only preach the water baptism and that is not so. Okay, so what does it say? It says that Aquila and Priscilla heard him and took him to the side and corrected him about God's way. Okay, so then let's, let's listen. This is where, I, where I'm about to prove my point. Chapter 19. And it happened when Apollos, this is the same guy, was in Corinth and Paul having passed through he found some of the disciples and they were preaching, right? And he said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they said to him, we have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. They said, we don't even know what the Holy Spirit is. We ain't never heard of that. Listen, verse three. And he said to them, into what then were you baptized? So they said, into John's baptism, which is the water. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. Listen to this, verse 5. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. It is a matter of hearing. It has nothing. It, 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 listen, if, if we were still supposed to practice water baptism, it said, they would, it would have said, when they were down in the water, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. But because it doesn't say that, this is a matter of hearing. When they heard Jesus being preached, they were baptized in the name of the Lord. Verse 6, and when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. So we've been doing this whole thing wrong. And listen, I'm going to give you one more verse. Peter also said the same exact thing. Acts eleven sixteen. 16. This is Peter speaking. It says, Then I remembered the word of the Lord, how he said, John indeed baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the what? The Holy Spirit. So there's a disconnect. This is a tradition of men. And then I have people in the comments like, oh, this is just an outwardly expression of what's going on on the inside. What? That's not biblical, okay? To have an outward expression. But what is biblical is to say that the kingdom of God is within us. That's what the word says in Luke 17. It says, the kingdom of God does not come with observation. Listen, y'all going down in that water and y'all coming up? That don't bring the, king the kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. Doing that is not doing nothing. What is doing something is your matter of, of your heart being changed and your ears listening and hearing what the Lord is saying. It says, indeed, the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God can't come on earth. The kingdom of God can't be inside of you if you still have the same nasty attitude, if you still um, um, don't like people, if you're still hateful, if you're still bitter. These are all things that can hinder you from having the kingdom of God come inside of you. The Lord is doing a new thing in the earth. And if y'all can't see that through coronavirus and shutting these traditions down and shutting these churches down that operate in spirits that he is not in, he does not dwell in these temples, then, then you more blind than we think. It's time to wake up and see what the Lord is doing. So listen, 19, Acts 19 verse 9, it says, but when some were hardened and did not believe, but spoke evil of the way before the multitude. He departed from them and withdrew the disciples. Listen, everybody's not going to agree with the fact that we've been doing something for so long. And then to have somebody speak out against it, people not going to like that. And guess what? That's just a and so what moment because I'm going to continue to preach the kingdom forward. We're not seeing the kingdom of God come. We're not seeing people being healed, delivered, set free. Because there's error. Wherever the traditions of men are, the, the Holy Spirit cannot dwell there. It's either him being the head 
and being the cornerstone? Or you just got a whole bunch of stones put together for no reason because he's not the cornerstone and the head of that church. Do you understand me? So, listen, people are not going to like it. But, oh, well, it is what it is. So, Paul and Peter both confirmed, confirmed that baptism is a matter of hearing. And hearing by what? The word of God and preaching Jesus. So, the more that I preach Jesus, the more people are, listen, the more hearts are being changed. The more you preach Jesus, the more hearts are being changed. And ultimately, that is bringing repentance. And that is what the Lord is looking for. Not for you to go down in water. It's, it's bigger than that. So this is a misconception. So people are like, okay, well, if water baptism wasn't important, then why would Jesus be baptized? And Jesus was baptized because the Holy Spirit had not come on earth yet. That's why Jesus said, it is better that I go away so that the helper can come. So that the gift can come. So that the teacher can come. Then the Holy Spirit was not in the earth yet. The Holy Spirit was not available to everyone yet. But now that Jesus died, he made it possible for the Holy Spirit to dwell with us. That is the kingdom. To have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us, that's the goal. That's why we call ourselves Christians. That's why we believe the way we believe. The Holy Spirit made it possible for us to hear Jesus being preached and become baptized with, with the Holy Spirit. And so people want to use the scripture. Um, I, I think it's in Matthew. Oh, one can't see the kingdom of God unless you are baptized with water and spirit. That is talking about Jesus. You cannot get to the, the kingdom of heaven without Jesus. Okay, that's who you need to be in communication with. That's who you need to repent to. Okay, and so that he can intercede for you and, and, and restore you back to the Father. That's how this works. Jesus is the water. When he was with the woman at the well, he said, listen, if you drink from this well, you'll never thirst again. He was talking about himself. Wake up, people. Wake up. So it says water and spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. Listen, if you don't want the Holy Spirit to dwell inside of you, he won't. It's that simple. And guess what? If you don't have water and spirit, you don't have the kingdom of God. And that is why we don't see the Acts church being pushed and, and, and moved. And, and listen, thank you, Holy Ghost. There is a man who I post on my page. Um, I don't remember his name, but it, he, he operates with Torch of Jesus Ministries or something like that. Um, I'm going to post it in a description box. But he operates as a modern day apostle, a modern day Paul and Peter and, and the 12 disciples, he operates in that um, um, in that anointing, okay? And, and listen, he's doing great things. He's traveling around the world and people are getting up out of their wheelchairs. Oh yeah, that's happening. Oh yeah, he's going and speaking to cities and he's speaking to the, the principalities that, that reign over these cities. And he's calling out the... Listen, it don't have to be nobody out there. But as long as you speak to the principalities, your, your his voice is being heard. So listen, open up your eyes and your ears to what the Lord is doing in the earth. Because he's moving by his own power. He's put a shutdown to everything. Okay? That is all. I am... Listen... I had people, this one young lady, I ain't even mad at her. She was calling me names, and I'm like, sweetie, <laughs> all these names ain't going to change the fact that this is what the Lord is saying. So listen, God bless you guys. Go and study your word. Don't take my word for it. Go study your word. Be great. Do great. Be baptized in the name of Jesus. Continue to, to move forward and push the kingdom forward. I love you guys. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.